I know there have been dozens of moments where you had to stop yourself from saying something you knew you would regret. I know I've been there. It is so important that we pause to check our thoughts before we speak. We've heard the phrase uttered a million times, think before you talk. All of us have had negative thoughts at some time or another. And if your thoughts are on the negative, side, well, practice replacing them with something more uplifting before you utter them. Sometimes it takes not just speaking at all. Waiting a minute or two, just think about what is being said first before you respond. Famous speaker Zig Ziglar said, life is an echo. What you send out comes back. What you sow, you reap. Well, that part is biblical. You reap what you sow. Happy to hear others echo those words. What you give, you get. What you see in others exists in you. Practice emphasizing the positive and reap the rewards. I get it. There are times where the behavior of others warrants harsh words. Even Mother Angelica at times used a no-nonsense approach and said what was on her mind to get her point across. But like her, we always need to come from a place of love. When our relationship with Christ is strong, our speech is ultimately guided. At the end of the day, aren't we trying to correct instead of corrupt someone? I'm not talking about beating around the bush, no need to mince words, but you can say what needs to be said without attacking a person. So let's help others learn by ridding our own speech of the negative talk or attacks. It's easier said than done, I know. I've made the many mistakes many times because I was coming from a place of anger, stress, or frustration. When faced with difficult situations, remember, it's about speaking truth, not tormenting someone with our words. You don't have to say what is on your mind at that very moment. If you're in a meeting, for instance, let others speak. Write notes. Replace any unkind word with one that will get your point across, but not offend. And then when the right time is there and your thoughts are clear and kind, speak up. When you want to get a point across to someone that is wrong or bad or first point out the good, set the tone at the beginning for positivity, then the negative won't come off as an attack. Put the emphasis on what is good, what can become better instead of what is wrong and bad. This has been a Christ-centered communication message. I'm Vanessa Hagarmo, a communications evangelist.